Mm-hmm. For those of you that don't know who I am, I'm a vet of about 35 plus years. Work with the likes of Verklin and Fire, Jen Jackson, Michael Jackson. Started out with Ray Charles. I've also worked with Christina Aguilera, Maxwell, um, and many, many jazz artists. Hey, I'm Morris Pleasure. Uh, my friends call me Mo, known as Mo Pleasure. And we're here today with Black Star, checking out this incredible um, amp series, the Elite series, the U700 and the U115. And I'm so excited to do a little bit of playing and talk to you about it. I absolutely love the Black Star system because I can actually take my head in a carry bag and put it over my shoulder. And I can pick up the, uh, the um, 115 easily with one hand. Um, it's definitely the lightest setup that I've ever had. And the confidence of going in there with something that's easy to carry, easy to transport. I have to take Ubers a lot and you know other uh, kinds of transportation that, that's not necessarily reliable. And there are smaller cabinets as well. So if I want to do a smaller gig, I can take a smaller cabinet. But the fact that you can carry it in one pass, I can literally have the base on my back the um, head in the, uh, one hand and the uh, cabinet in the other hand and walk in and do any gig that I need to do. That's beautiful. I can take this and I can play a club, a jazz club, and I can also take it on the stage and play a stadium if I want to. I would love if I was doing a sta stadium gig, I would use two of these, two of the 115s. But certainly, one is going to give you enough power with the head. There's so much power in that head that I'm like, I will never, ever turn it up to 10, as we say. But um, just knowing that you've got it there and that you've got clean sound all the way up is awesome. Also, the, um, the response switch is awesome. I love that because it's kind of like very reminiscent of the amps that I played growing up throughout the 70s and 80s. Uh, including like the Basement 10 and the uh, and SVT, the Ampeg, which I just love, as well as is like a B15 type situation, which is my my favorite, and that works for studio and live. It's nice to know that you can get that sound, but also have the power, you know, to, uh, in a live situation. So I play bass guitar, upright bass as well, and I play keyboards and of course synth bass and all those good things. I play some uh, trumpet as well. But my influences coming up were mostly bass um, oriented. Verdine White from Earth, Wind & Fire is my biggest influence on the bass, uh, as well as Larry Graham, Jaco Pastorius, and all of those great bass players from the 70s. I love bass gear and there's a lot of different sounds that I do like. Um, I have a few different choices for bass. I have to cover a lot of different territories. So the great thing about the Black Star amp is it does all that. If I pull out my fretless, you know, it gets that growl that I need. If I'm pulling out my, um, my five string and my four string and I want to do some uh, slapping and popping with it, it pops, it's punchy, it, it has an impact on it. chorus on, you know, fretless and beautiful uh, kind of lyrical sounds, as well as funky popping. This chorus adds a lot to it. And of course, I use the uh, octave for many things as well, not just bass lines in songs, but also for soloing. A lot of times I'll uh, sing and play my bass at the same time and use the octave, and that in itself creates like a pretty cool sound. <laughs> Absolutely. First of all, I love the way it's set up because it has uh, multiple outputs. In addition to my speaker outs, I got a direct out, which is all awesome in the studio and the sound is so good. But it also has, has a direct out that can go USB as well. So um, if I'm in a situation where let's say I even just have the head and I want my sound, I can just go directly from that with a USB cord into my uh, DAW and, or whatever situation I'm in and get the sound that I want. Well, I like a really big sound, James, so I'm always looking to get that, you know, on whether that's on tape or on audio recording 
or whether that's live. I wanted to feel it. I wanted the kick drum and the bass to be, feel like they're one thing. So I really need something that's got some girth to it. <laughs> I absolutely love everything about the, this setup, I have to tell you. Um, I haven't even talked about the overdrive features, which is, you know, if you want to get out there and do a, a solo or if you want to just even add just a touch of grit to, you know, whatever you're doing, whether it be a rock tune or maybe something funky. Um, I absolutely love that. Um, and everything is, is completely responsive. So if, I'm, if I put my finger on the low, Nah, then I just touch it that much. I'm gonna tell a di be able to tell a difference. Everything about it, I absolutely love. I would, I do a lot of synth bass playing, so a lot of times I'm coming out of the same amp to do my synth, my Moog bass playing as my bass playing, and it would be, I would love it if it had two inputs. Other than that, that's the only thing I can think of. I think it's definitely got power. We've got the compressor on it. We've got the effects. There's actually an effects loop in the back as well. So if you're using pedals or anything like that, or a pedal board, there's a loop that you can just plug right into. It's got everything that I need for my outputs, for studio playing, and, uh, and that's it. I absolutely love the design of it. Mm -hmm.